Bears looking deep down the left side. Mendenhall in the end zone. Touchdown! to the house. And the Raiders streaming from the sideline to celebrate with 17 seconds left. Hey, and welcome to Back to Be Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It was a big slate of high school action in Kern County. The central section girls soccer playoffs began. We'll get into that scoreboard in just a minute. But first, we'll start off with basketball action. Chavez, a school in Delano that's been open for 12 years, has never had a boys basketball league championship. The Titans going for it tonight against Shafter. Let's see just how they did. Chavez at home tonight looking to stay perfect in the SSL and get that league championship led there by number two. Elias Galante, the standout, averaging 20 points a game. He's going against Jose Maldonado. Great score there for Shafter. Starts it off with a jumper. Two of his team high 23. Chavez responds. Escalante gets the ball from the corner. Nothing but net. The three gives the Titans an 11 to 5 lead. And then Escalante, he's on the given move, gives to Ray Coran. He hits the three from almost the exact same spot. It's 23-13. Titans still in the first with the generals respond. Anthony Garcia inside with the power and it cuts the lead to 23-15, but more Escalante hits the runner, the hoop and the harm. 14 is 26 in the first and, the Sh and Chavez leads 25-15. But there is Javier Gallardo inside, a double-double for the big man for Chavez, 41-31 at the half. Let's fast forward to the fourth. Maldonado hits another three for Shafter, but it was too much Escalante tonight. He had 26 points in the victory, 67-56 Titans win, and they are now 23-1 and 11-0 in the SSL and are league champs for the first time in school history. And even more so, they got to cut down the net. Let's listen in. Uh, it's uh, ten times more exciting than the last past three years. This team's uh, phenomenal. This team just, we're more, we, we, wanted, we wanted more than the past three years. I, I owe it to my whole team. This was a team league win, and it's a beautiful thing. First feeling, first uh, league win ever for the team. It was, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Ah, man, it just, uh, a, a lot of love went into uh, this happening tonight, and uh, it's the first one in our history, man, so uh, we're going to remember this, and I told them. You know, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, your kids, your grandkids, they can come out here and they can remember what you did tonight. So uh, it's all love, my man. It's all love tonight. Oh, man, it means so much to me. I wanted it so bad, and I'm glad I got it my senior year. First ever, first ever. So it means a lot to me. I'm going to remember this forever. Let's go through the hefty scoreboard we got for you. BHS undefeated in the SWIL with a 10-0 record in the regular season with the 62-61 win over Liberty. Jeremiah Dickerson led the Drillers with 18 points, 14 points from Ronnie Stapp, held off a 22-point performance for Kadar Waller for the Patriots. Garces upsets number 19, Stockdale, 64-55, sophomore big man. Isaiah Hughes with 24 points for the Rams in the victory. And Centennial, they finish off the regular season with a 60-48 winner over Frontier. Wasco, a 70-69 winner over Arvin in the SSL. And Kennedy defeated Taft 67-39. In girls basketball action, the Drillers, much like the boys, finished the SWIL slate with a 10-0 record after beating Liberty 71-43. Taylor Caldwell, 22 points, 12 rebounds for the Drillers in the victory. Arvin stays undefeated in the SSL, 44-28 winner over Wasco and Taft. A buzzer beater lost to Kennedy, 59-57, to while Shafter defeated Chavez, 39-36 in girls basketball action. In girls soccer, let's run right through it in Division I. Clovis West defeated Stockdale, 1-0. Clovis West will play at Clovis in the, in the quarterfinals. Clovis East defeated Centennial, 5-0. The Timberwolves will play at number 3 Liberty on Thursday. In Division II, Tulare Western defeated Highland 1-0, while Fresno Edison ended Garces' season with a 3-0 victory over the Rams. 
Also in Division Two, BHS lost to Tulare Union six to nothing. Moving to Division Three, Ridgeview with a big win over Tehachapi six to nothing. Sets up another SYL matchup for the Wolfpack. They'll be at number two Independence in the quarterfinals. In Division Four, Foothill victorious over Fresno in the nine eight nine matchup two to one. Foothill will play at number one Kingsburg in the quarterfinals. Also in Division Four, Wasco victorious over Roosevelt one nothing. And South defeated Carruthers 3-1. In Division 5, Shafter a 2-0 win over McFarland. And Kern Valley defeated Delano 4-0. That's all the action we have for you guys tonight. Tomorrow we'll have the doubleheader from Independence. Ridgeview, Independence going for the SYL title and girls and boys action. Boys tip off at 515, girls at 630. We'll have all that action for you, plus the first round of the boys central section soccer playoff start tomorrow. We'll have that full scoreboard tomorrow night, much like we did for the girls tonight, so you don't want to miss any of that action. For V-Varsity Nightly, I'm Trevor Horn. Until then, you guys rest up. We've got a big week ahead of us. Bye-bye.